What up, tube viewers? Welcome to another episode of Show, Tell, and Sell. On today's agenda, our vintage SIG fire jet. Like usual, I'll be lighting it, telling you a little bit about it, and then listing it for sale on eBay. So to start out with, comes with a nice waterproof ditty sack. A vintage SIG Switzerland fuel bottle. A priming eyedropper. Extra gaskets, extra leather pump cut. Little tubes for the pump. I take them off just so they don't get lost or broken. Nice little storage sack for the stove. The fuel line. And the stove itself. The pump's been completely taken apart, cleaned. New gaskets installed. Leather pump cup oiled. Stove was dismantled, cleaned and polished, but it's been used so it shows some signs. It's got soot from priming it. New gaskets on the fuel line. And instead of filling up fuel in this bottle, since I'll be selling it and it's gonna be shipped, I'll just be using this MSR fuel bottle instead. So let's get started. Open up the fuel bottle. I like to wet the pump gasket just to get a better seal. Slip that in there. Screw it down tight, but not too tight. Attach the fuel line to the pump first. Also wetting the gasket. Screw in with the snug. Open the stove. Wet the threads down there. Go ahead and screw it on the fuel line onto the stove. Make sure it's snug. Start pressurizing the bottle about 30 times. Then with the bottle pressurized, I like to watch it for a minute around the pump. Make sure it's not leaking around the control nozzle around the bottle itself and around the fuel line connection like I said they've, it's been rebuilt but it's been stored since and these are old now that you wait a few minutes go ahead and crack the control valve ever so slightly 
until fuel starts coming out. It don't take much. You hear it. All right. Close it back up. You want to light the little bit of fuel that came out. You see it down here. That's what that little reservoir is for, to catch the fuel to prime the stove. And I like to help out a little bit just by hitting the generator tube. Right now, it's sucking fuel out of the line. You hear it. It'll change. Start speeding up. Start pressurizing. And once that flame starts to die down, you want to start to slowly crack it open. Keep checking for leaks. And boom, that's it. Another perfect start. The SIG fire jet, ladies and gentlemen. Ready for your close up, Mr. DeVille? stove, fuel bottle, diddy sack, stove case, priming dropper, extra gaskets for the bottle, stove fuel line, extra pump cup, the pump, fuel line, SIG Switzerland. Shut it off. Close the nozzle. Snug. Pick the bottle up. And let the stove suck the fuel out of the line for you. It's still lit. Wait for it to go completely out. <laughs> I think we're good. Make sure the flame's gone. And go ahead and screw, screw the fuel line from the pump first. I like to use a paper towel to collect, catch any fluid. Then 
and use some paper towel, wipe up any excess. And I like to do the same for the bottle. Paper towel, wrap it around there. Loosen up, let the pressure out. Once it's unscrewed, get a few pumps, get any fuel out of the lines. Give it a couple flicks on the ground. Put the lid on the bottle. Wipe off any extra. And that's that. Remember, eBay. It'll be in the description what to look for. It's for sale. And thank you for another video, show, tell, and sell.